I live by the beach, so I love to collect seashells and maybe a little beach sand. And I like to think about the beach year round, even when it's raining outside. So I have a fun project for you today, and this is a beach tray. I found this tray at the local thrift shop for $7.25, and I knew that I wanted to transform it into a beach-themed tray. This is fun to put your little collectibles of your seashells into, perhaps put some of that beach sand into an old bottle, and of course decorate the tray. The first step in decorating the tray is I decided I didn't want to have to sand it, so I just started working right away. You're going to use your blue tape in order to block off the areas that you don't want to paint. So I did that all around the edges on the tray. The next step is to use your cosmetic sponge and actually dab your paint onto your tray. Then you want to immediately take off that blue tape to reveal the pattern. The next step is to put your lettering down. Now I just use these repositionable four inch letters, place them down on the tray where I wanted them, and it's easy to pull them right back up if you wanna get them lined up. Then again, you take your cosmetic sponge and you just dab your base color, which was a blue, over the entire surface. And you need to pull these letters off right away because what I found is when I leave them to set too long and you pull back up, it actually starts to pull the paint back up off of the back of your tray because I didn't pre-sand it. But it's fine in this tray because I wanted a very beachy, worn look to this. Once that paint dries completely, then you can wash, uh, just whitewash over it. And I actually used my Tulip Soft paint in linen. So it's not a white, it's a really nice off-white. Then if you want to, you can go ahead and spray seal it with the Aline spray sealer in matte or gloss. Since I've already finished this tray, I wanted to show you really quickly on a little collectible box here how you can use the very same techniques. I have already used my blue tape and I have stuck it down to the top of my box. And now I'm going to use my Tulip soft fabric paint and I love to use these cosmetic sponges, especially in this technique when you don't really want a solid coat of paint. It, it goes very, very quickly and you don't get any sort of brush strokes, but you get a nice effect. And it doesn't take much paint. If you wanted to, you could paint the box completely first with white and then of course you can do your sponging in any color that you want but I want this little box to match with my tray. Okay see how quick that is? Then you just pull that tape off to reveal the lines. It's very very subtle. Let this dry completely and then you can come back and sand it to get another more aged weather, weathered look. Okay, really cool way to um, pick up the same design. This is mesh that actually came off the back of tiles that you buy at um, the tile store. And I wanna show you, I left one side undone here, again, how quickly you can just add a little bit of color to give you a very nice effect. And you don't have to be real precise about this. That cool. So once that paint dries completely, then I can come back and use my sandpaper just like I did on the edge here. The final step on my box is to take one of my seashells and dip it into my Aline's super thick tacky glue and glue it right onto the top. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is my beach celebration. I'm Tiffany Windsor and I think it's cool to craft.